Cue the song. Even if you live in a seemingly perfect town, there is still that yearning desire to explore. Like what Truman Burbank displays in the 1998 movie The Truman Show. Today, we travel to the Emerald Coast, where that movie was filmed, and show one of the best water playgrounds in the U.S. Destin, Florida. This region of the Emerald Coast provides all kinds of water fun. We will start an hour northeast of Destin in Morrison Springs, then pick up the Emerald Coast at the quaint village of Seaside, or should I say, Sea Haven. We then travel to Grayton Beach, where we'll then take you aboard two helicopters and show you from the air, Topsail Preserve, Henderson State Beach, and the colorful shoreline, while showing you the corresponding ground footage as well. We'll travel to Miramar Beach in the village of Baytown Wharf and head across the bridge to Fort Walton Beach. In Destin, we show all the different options for cruises. Batten down the hatches! Rent a pontoon and take you to Crab Island, an island that is below the surface of the water where people hang out and have fun. And of course, explore all the amusement in Harbor Walk Village and give you travel tips on dining and lodging in Destin. I think by the end of this video, you will say, We love Destin! So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride as we show you the Emerald Coast by boat, by bike, by helicopter, by drone, by car, by foot, and by merry-go-round. Somebody help me, I'm being spontaneous. Woo, woo, whoa, 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 whoa. We have a lot to show you. I'm ready to go now, why wait? Watch out for the gators. Destin, a water haven on the Emerald Coast. <laughs> wow, that's good stuff. We begin our tour 50 miles northeast of Destin in the township of Ponce de Leon, Florida, located at the end of the Choctahatchee River, is Morrison Springs, a county park with a 250-foot natural springs pool that produces an estimated 48 million gallons of crystal clear water each day, popular for swimming and diving with elevated boardwalks and trees. The water temperature is about 65 degrees year-round. Ran into the Sanchez family, traveling from Texas to their home in Palm Beach. The park is free to enter, however it can get crowded certain times of the year. 40 miles south of Morrison Springs, halfway between Destin and Panama City, is the picture-perfect beachside village of Seaside, located in Santa Rosa Beach. Seaside was the location of the filming of The Truman Show, with its late 20th century new urbanist architecture, pastel-colored houses with porches and white picket fences. At 31 Natchez Street is where Jim Carrey steps outside his house and cheerfully says to the neighbors, Good morning, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon and good night. The Coleman Tower on the beach was visible in several shots in the movie. It is here you can enter the beach. However, you have to be renting chairs from Club Cabana Men to enter the beach. You do want to book your chairs well in advance because they sell out very quick. In the movie, this town is named Sea Haven Island. While it looked real, it was a set of a reality TV show. But in real life, this is a real operating town. The center of town is Central Square, where many of the scenes of the movie were filmed like Modica Market, where a major scene happens inside the market. It still looks like it did in the movie. You can pick up gourmet to go meals here. In front of Central Square along Route 30A are retro food trailers known as Airstream Row. The village is just a nice place to hang out. You often find live music in the open-air amphitheater. There are festivals here throughout the year. It is very pedestrian and bike friendly. You see the same style of bikes that were in the movie, 
which you can rent from La Dulce Vida. Behind Central Square is Ruskin Place, a picturesque park surrounded by art galleries and boutiques. Across the street from Central Square, there are several counterside eateries with patio dining. Enjoy grass-fed beef burgers at Pickles, or the Trattoria Pizza Bar, a taco bar, the Shrimp Shack, a nice boardwalk along the beach with a large pavilion. Enjoy your lunch with a nice waterside view. Next to Seaside is Watercolor, where there is lodging at the quaint Watercolor Inn. Bike Jogging Paths, the Boathouse on Western Lake. Here you can find rentals for paddleboards and kayaks. This is part of the Timpuchi Trail, an 18-mile bike path that parallels Highway 30A from Dunallen Beach to Inlet Beach. Very scenic. More info can be found if you go to visitsouthwalton.com and put Timpuchi Trail in the search bar. An afternoon thunderstorm coming. Where shall we go? Where shall we go? This is the Tupelo Street gazebo featured in the movie. I highly recommend a visit to Seaside. We head west on Scenic Highway 30A, another look at the Timpuchi Trail. Now if you would like to live in this area, about five miles northwest of Central Square is Ridgewalk, currently building new houses. Gorgeous brick architecture, located three minutes from the Gulf. A couple of miles west of Seaside is Grayton Beach State Park, which ranks among one of the top beaches in the U.S. With massive dunes, winding trails, abundant wildlife, and a pristine beach. The 2,000-acre park has a boat ramp that provides access for both freshwater and saltwater fishing. You can rent a canoe, paddleboard, or kayak. There are four miles of trails for hikers and bicyclists amidst pine flatwoods, a full facility campground, with sites for RVs, tents, and modern cabins. It is $5 per vehicle or $2 for bicyclists to enter. We continue west on Highway 30A. Five miles west of Grayton Beach is another popular vacation community. Golf Place, which has a colorful town center area. Tree-lined streets, wide sidewalks, art galleries, a variety of eateries and shops, an amphitheater, with live music and free concerts. On the right, Golf Place Cabana Vacation Rentals. On the left is Dune Allen Beach, a tranquil beach with a laid back vibe. We're gonna start showing you footage from two different helicopters. First, a touring copter by Timberview Helicopters. They fly out of the Destin Executive Airport, a nice comfortable wedding area. They have four different tours along the Emerald Coast from eight miles all the way to 50 miles that go as far as Seaside. We chose the 20 miles Jaws tour because we also use Panhandle helicopter for some of our video. Our nice pilot points out places of interest. Now flying over US 98 to the shoreline. The 20 mile tour is $109 per person and you can get a video of your ride for $40. We are crossing over Henderson State Beach that is in Destin. We'll show you the ground footage later here. But for now, we're gonna head east along the colorful Emerald Coast, back to Santa Rosa Beach, where we left off, then head back west towards Destin. 14 miles east of Destin is Topsail Hill Preserve State Park, which has three miles of white sand beaches with rare coastal dune lakes, RV spaces with full hookups, camping sites and cabins available. It is also pet friendly. This is where Highway 30A ends, and we pick up US 98. Located in Miramar Beach, about nine miles from Destin, is the village of Baytown Wharf, a collection of family fun zones, shopping, dining, live entertainment, and a super long boardwalk fishing pier on Horseshoe Bayou. A variety of things to do for people of all ages, even big kids like me. Ha. Huh. Unappropriate scripture verse. Try the Baytown zip line over a lake for $20. The Sky Trail Ropes Course or Bungee Trampoline for $15. The Coconut Climb Ropes Course for the Little Ones for $10.
a golf chipping challenge to get the ball in that little hole in the lake. There's value packages available. That's what I'm talking about. A blasterm shooting gallery. Get her done. An arcade, a playground, and plenty of great places to eat like Rum Runners. Hartel's Village Diner, Fat Tuesday's Daiquiri Bar, Slick Lips Seafood and Oyster House, Roberto's Pizzeria Sports Bar, the rustic setting of the Crazy Lobster, or the drunken Tom Brady Saloon, Waterside Dining and Music at the Village Door Restaurant and Nightclub. It's hot today, so I'm going to cool off in the Moolala, located next to the playground for some blueberry cheesecake ice cream. The remedy for the Florida heat. Yes, I shared some with Bella. Baytown is a dog-friendly place. Meet Dakota. She and her owner staying at the pet-friendly Hotel Effie, located right there. Also around the village, sporting activities for adults, golf, and tennis. In the wintertime, there's an outdoor ice skating rink here as well. We continue with our helicopter tour, now over Miramar Beach. On the left, the beach area in front of the Surfside Resort. On the right, the Majestic Sun by Vacasa, a large vacation rental resort. There is a bamboo bungalow deep in the jungle, don't you know? Where all the people can let go to the sweet sound of Calypso. Come follow me. Enjoy seafood and a tremendous beach view at the Whale's Tail Beach Bar and Grill with a lower and upper deck overlooking the gulf. Out in the gulf, from the Whale's Tail, a floating water playground. Now leave your home and the world you know behind you at the door. Step inside to take a ride like you never rode before. Between Whale's Tail and Pompano Joe's are several vacation rentals. On the right, Sticks in the Sand vacation homes. And further up, Costa del Sol A4. There is a bamboo bungalow deep in the jungle, don't you know? Where all the people can let go to the sweet sound of Calypso. At Pompano Joe's, you can grab some Caribbean influenced seafood with a patio overlooking the Gulf. This is a public parking lot at Miramar Regional Public Beach, but might be tough finding a spot. A mile and a half west of Pompano Joe's, another great seafood restaurant, the Crab Trap. You can find us here, just disappear and take the path unknown. Join the fun with everyone, you'll never be alone. At the western end of Scenic Highway 98, near Henderson Beach, are these quaint beach rentals, Nantucket Rainbow Cottages. And next to them, with a similar New England style architecture, is the Crystal Shores Destin Vacation Rentals. Now a look at Henderson State Beach that we saw earlier from the helicopter, a large pavilion, boardwalks. You can rent these chairs at Pavilion B. Two chairs and umbrella, $25 for half day or $40 for full day. Some final looks at Destin from the air before we head to Harbor Walk Village. Panhandle Helicopter does a great job with aerial photography. But for tours, make sure you check out Timberview Helicopters. Near Henderson State Beach is Destin Raceway and Dune Buggies, where you can race on a paved track or a sand dune. It is $30 for 20 laps. Across the street from Henderson Beach is the famous Fudpuckers Beachside Bar in Gator Beach. As well as great food, there is plenty of entertainment here. Admission to Gator Beach is completely free. It is here you can see, feed, and get your picture taken with a live alligator. Plenty of kid-friendly things to do so mom and dad can relax. There is also an arcade here. Moving another mile west on US 98 is the track. It not only has five go-kart tracks, but also a highly reviewed mini golf. Two thrill rides, Sky Flyer and Hurricane 360, as well as an arcade, bumper cars, and bumper boats. 
Another mile west of the track is Destin's largest amusement park, the recently renovated Big Kahuna's Water and Adventure Park. This park is massive. It has over 40 water attractions, several thrill rides like Sky Coaster and Cyclone, and it has 54 challenging holes of tropical mini golf. On three unique courses, combo tickets are available online to fit the rides that you want to do. Hotels in Destin around Harbor Walk Village in the summer can be very expensive due to not many hotels close to the village and a high demand for this area. Even this Motel 6 for a weekend over the summer is well over $300 a night, although it is a good location under a mile from the Harbor Walk. We found a motel even closer, the Destin Village Inn, a pet-friendly motel about a quarter of a mile from the Harbor Walk Village. We paid $280 per night. It is a little bit of an older motel, but the room was clean, everything worked. Was very pleased with it. Convenient, you can park right next to your room. If traveling with a pet, I'd recommend room numbers 114 to 119 because they are close to the only grassy area on the property for dogs. You will save money if you don't mind being a little further away from the Harbor Walk Village. But then you gotta deal with where are you gonna park? It is $10 to park at the village, but on weekends or Thursday nights, you might have a problem finding a spot. Motels in Fort Walton Beach, eight miles away, will be much cheaper. This is the La Quinta in Fort Walton Beach, or this La Quinta in Miramar Beach, seven miles away. Now, if you want the ideal location, it would be the Emerald Grand, right on the Harbor Walk. But for a weekend in the summer, it will be well over 500 a night, and this hotel sells out quickly. You usually have to book months in advance. It is not pet friendly, but it has great amenities. The views from this hotel are spectacular. Here's the hot tub. Lounge on the deck overlooking the Destin Bridge. This is the view from the top floor looking down on Harbor Walk Village. They also have a shuttle that takes you to Emerald Grand Secluded Beach, another reason to stay here. You want to have a wedding here? Here's the view for your ceremony. Wake up to a view like this and go downstairs and get coffee at Cafe Cafe. They also have breakfast, sandwiches, bagels. Get there early or you could have a long wait. A great way to start the day. Let's meet Richard and Tammy a big reason why the Harbor Walk remains so clean. I love the Emma Grant. Me and my uh, granddaughter opened this in 07. Um, we've been here on and off ever since. Uh, nothing like the Harbor Walk. Yeah. We see thousands and thousands of people. And we aim to please. We have nothing but great hospitality. Richard also grew up here in this blue building, which used to be Kelly Boat Service, now the Harbor Walk Marina. Well, Dustin is all about the water, so let's show you all the options you have for water fun. Morning is when your snorkeling and shelling cruises depart. Dustin Snorkel has a three-hour, two-stop snorkel cruise. $45 for adults, $35 for kids. Or a two-hour shelling cruise that is $10 cheaper. There are several options for pontoon boat rentals, a couple located at the village, like Boogie's Water Sports, where as well as pontoons, you can rent jet skis. And they also have a two-hour glass bottom boat cruise, $29 for adults, $15 for children, $25 for seniors. Luther's is another option for rentals of pontoons, wave runners, paddle boards, and kayaks. Behind Tailfin's Waterfront Grill is Tailfin's pontoon rentals. However, fishing or pets are not permitted in these boats. There is also Crab Island boat rentals. We chose Sunshine Water Sports right there. But first, picking up lunch at Gilligan's, a couple of doors down. Gilligan's was one of the few eateries we could order by phone and pick up. You can also rent pontoons, wave runners, or go parasailing here as well. They have a nice scenic deck for eating. However, nothing beats the view actually on the water. We had the Mahi Mahi sandwich. Delicious. More on dining options later. Now let's chase down some cruises. Sunshine Water Sports was a little cheaper than the pontoon rentals at the village, yet it still wasn't very far away, only a half a mile from the village. Their rates vary by the season, but on this day in June, it was $3.75 for a half day, or $5.75 for a full day. The boat and the service was great. 
You can also rent these double-decker pontoons with water slides through Double Fun Pontoon Rentals. Seasonal rates. On this day in June, they were $6.95 for half day or $8.95 for full day. A big reason why renting a boat is so popular here is Crab Island, a shallow sandbar just north of the Destin Bridge. You will find a variety of boats, vendors with food, souvenirs, entertainment, inflatables. So let us have some fun. fun. Oh God, you know we're one. Two of us, one on one. Leave it up when you can. can. Oh. Many ways to get to Crab Island. Take a four hour cruise to Crab Island via Sun Venture Cruises. $66 for adults or $35 for kids. Or take a floating tiki with Cruise and Tiki's Destin. Fillet, 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 fillet. Fillet, 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 fillet. Now let's take a look at the cruises. We'll begin with the sailboat options. Sailing Moby has a variety of swim and sail, swim and snorkel cruises, as well as a sunset sail. Captain Jambos has this catamaran sunset cruise as well as parasailing and banana boat rides. Smile and Wave Sailing Adventures has a two hour day sail starting at $300 or a sunset sail for $350. Swim and Snorkel and Swim and Sail also available. Sail aboard a 74 foot schooner, the Daniel Webster Clements, by AJ's Water Adventures. A 90 minute day cruise, $35 for adults, 25 children. Sunset and Swim and Sail also available. Also by AJ's, The Sea Quest with Dolphin, Snorkel, and Sunset Cruises. How about a speedboat? The Sea Blaster, a 90 minute dolphin cruise, $26 for adults, 13 for children. Or a one hour cruise on the Hydrojet, 29 for adults, 19 for children. A fishing charter on the new Florida Girls American Spirit. A four hour cruise is $69 for adults, $34 for children. Olin Marlar has a one-hour dolphin cruise on the Hannah Marie, $26 for adults, $16 for kids. They also have 4 to 12 hour fishing charters. Try some parasailing with Just Shoot Me Parasail. It's for $80 per flyer or $45 per observer. There was a ship that put to sea The name of the ship was the Billy of Tea The winds blew up her bow dip down Oh blow my bullet boys bow Blow the man down Sail aboard the Buccaneer Pirate Cruise in search of undiscovered treasure Woody banter, singing, dancing and family fun led by the crew Oh matey The two hour crew sails the East Pass in the Choctawatchee Bay the entertainment is geared for younger kids with pirate training, sword fighting, water gun battles, a treasure hunt, and authentic cannon fire. Fire in the hole! You can also get a discount for their sister ship, the Southern Star, which is $33 for adults, $16 for children for a 90 minute cruise. We rode the Southern Star for the fireworks cruise on Thursday night, where we ran into a couple of our subscribers Jack and Nancy from Tennessee. Also, Kaylin and Kinsley. We love Texas! They were very sweet. They bought a couple of toys for Bella. All the cruises we've shown do a one-hour fireworks cruise every Thursday night during the summer, as well as Memorial Day and Labor Day weekends, July 4th and New Year's Eve. <laughs> we'll take a look at the entertainment and dining options in Harbor Walk Village in just a bit. But first, let's take a quick trip over the bridge to Fort Walton Beach. Crab Island on the right. We travel along Okaloosa Island. You will find boat rentals and hotels are going to be cheaper in Fort Walton Beach, located seven miles from Harbor Walk Village. But you can run into a lot of traffic traveling back and forth. The main public fun area of Fort Walton Beach is five miles from the village. At the boardwalk of Okaloosa Island, across the street from the boardwalk is Wild Willie's Adventure Fun Zone, which has too many golf courses, a ropes course, 4D movie theater, arcade, laser tag, bungee trampoline, and more. Across the street is the boardwalk and fishing pier, where you'll find the Crab Trap in Al's Beach Burger Bar, with seating overlooking the golf. Sand volleyball courts on crystal white sand beaches, the vibrant green waters of the golf. The Island Pier is a concrete pier known for its saltwater fishing, bird watching, and summer fireworks. 
A variety of marine life, including dolphins, sea turtles, herons, and pelicans, fishing from blackfin tuna to the mighty king mackerel. Here's a fisherman that looks like he has something big. I think it ended up being a pompano fish. All right, now back to Destin as we finish this video, showing you the dining and entertainment in Harbor Walk Village. Want to talk about dining options in Destin. First, there's Heritage's Lighthouse, serving American and seafood in a roomy waterfront space with circus memorabilia. It is dog friendly. There's the huge Margaritaville, a relaxed harborfront restaurant with nautical decor. The chill bar with seating facing the harbor walk and also dining facing the waterfront. The land shark lookout for an elevated view. With all of these restaurants being fairly busy, most of them couldn't place an order by phone, but I did find a couple great ones. The Rum K Island Grill with waterside dining at the west end of the harbor walk. I had their taquilla lime fish tacos and salad. Due to the sometimes massive crowds, there can be quite a wait for food, which is why I like to call ahead and order it in advance. But when I first arrived on the Harbor Walk, I just had to settle for one of the food trailers and have a corn dog. There's a couple of counter serve eateries where you can get quick food. Harbor Taco and Jester's Mardi Gras Daiquiris and Pizza. Another restaurant that did answer their phones and was able to order ahead was East Pass Seafood and Oyster House. A tremendous view watching all the boats go by in the harbor. I had the barbecue shrimp and grits. It had smoked gouda cheese grits, spinach tomatoes, Cajun barbecue and sausage. Absolutely delicious. As well as a key lime pie. And by the way, these are the toys that Kaylin and Kinsley bought for Bella. So nice of them. Harbor Walk Adventures provides Destin's longest and tallest dual zipline attraction. It gives the most picturesque ride overlooking the Destin Harbor. A round trip ride is $32. Also a free fall attraction for $27. Or a rock wall climb for $15. Amusement USA provides a bungee trampoline for $11. An aquasphere where you can walk on water and never get wet for $11. A simulated virtual reality ride for $10 a large pavilion with live music and entertainment, axe throwing. Test your skills by going undetected through laser beams to unlock a secret vault at the Vault Assault Laser Maze Conquest at the escape room. People are locked in a room with other participants to solve a series of puzzles to try to escape. Decorate yourself with some henna art the cubby caboose train for the little ones for $10. They're on a loop. They go around the block. They come back. They go around again. They just go round and round. Round and round. And yet, this driver seems very happy, waving, having fun. These people here loving Destin. So in summary, yes, Destin can get crowded. There may be times of frustration dealing with traffic. You may have to wait 20 or 30 minutes for coffee. It might be a challenge to find a parking spot, but would I do it again? You betcha. In the end, it was a great experience. And I think I speak for a whole lot of people who choose to return to the Destin region. Learn from Tammy and Richard, or from Truman Burbank, how he exuberantly wishes his neighbor good morning or the selflessness of Kalen and Kinsley. Now that we can take the mask off our mouth, let's take the mask off our hearts. Enjoy being outdoors, connecting with people again. For you see, we are not limited as Truman was in the show. Our limitations are often self-imposed. Enjoy nature, enjoy people, and no better place to enjoy them than on the Emerald Coast. I'd love to hear your thoughts on things to do in Destin in the comments below. We have put addresses and links of the places featured in this video. We are Tampa Aerial Media. We film travel videos across the USA. For licensing or stock footage, contact us at info at tampaaerialmedia.com. From the Emerald Coast to wherever you may be, I'd like to wish you good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thank you for watching.